Hi, my name is Adam Gilmore, a partner with the Modelo Solutions. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can quickly and easily build a data warehouse using the Modelo Architect. The Modelo Architect is a Visual Studio plugin, so if you are a Microsoft developer, the interface is instantly familiar. The first thing I will demonstrate is using the Data Warehouse Wizard to generate the Data Warehouse design. The wizard is a quick start option that you can build on later. So let's get started. I've already created a new project and defined a database connection to a source database called Service. Service is a small database we use for demonstration purposes. The Service database captures service requests from clients. Staff perform the tasks associated with services and record their time to a timesheet. The first step when using the wizard is to drag the source table that represents your fact to the wizard pane. The Modelo Architect looks at the relationship of the fact table to determine candidate dimensions. As you can see, the Modelo Architect has determined there are staff, task and service dimensions. You can rename facts and dimensions. Then click the next button. On the fact page, tick the columns that represent measures. On the dimension page, untick those columns that are not attributes. Finally, click Finish. The Modelo Architect generates the design for the Data Warehouse database tables and the ETL code. I stress this is the design, not the code itself. We generate the code in a later step. Now we can work on our design. First we want to add a new service type attribute to the service dimension. To do that, we need to stage the service type staging table. The Modelo Architect lets you define staging tables by importing the schema from your source system. Now the staging table columns are defined, we want to define the extract for the staging table. All the ETL design in the Modelo Architect is based on patterns. You simply select the pattern you want to apply to a particular extract or transform and the generation process does the rest. You can define either a table or query as the source of the extract. I'll define a query here for demonstration purposes. The Modelo Architect automatically maps staging columns to source columns. If you wish, you can define SQL expressions as a mapping. Now we have a new staging table. We want to add the service type description as an attribute to the service dimension. Open the service dimension and add a new service type description attribute. For demonstration purposes, I'll make this a type 2 attribute. Next, we edit the transform for this dimension. We need to add the new service type staging table as a secondary source. Select what columns we need in the transform. And define the join between the primary and secondary source staging tables. Finally, we need to define the mapping between our staging source column and the new service type description attribute. We can also delete attributes. And rename attributes.
Next, we want to add a new measure to our fact table. I'm going to add a minutes measure. In the ETL design, I need to map the new measure to a source column or an expression. In this case, I'm going to add a SSIS expression to calculate minutes from hours. I'll save the fact, and now we're ready to generate the code for our solution. The Model Architect has many generate and deploy options. The easiest option is to generate and deploy the ETL in one step. The ETL generation relies on the data warehouse being up to date and deployed, so I select the option to generate and deploy data warehouse prior to generating the ETL. As you can see, as the generation process progresses, you get feedback on the code that has been generated. You can click on any generated artifact to go and view that artifact. I'll click to open the generated SSIS project. The Model o Architect generates for both SSIS 2008 and SSIS 2012. We generate one package per extract, dimension transform, and fact transform. As you can see, the Model o Architect generates readable and sophisticated code. Our patterns are documented and robust. The Model o Architect also generates the data warehouse and staging databases. The Model o Architect implements non destructive data warehouse schema synchronization and it will detect column and table name changes. The final step in the process is to run a test ETL batch. You can execute a batch from within the Model o Architect. Batches are controlled through a customizable workflow file. The Model o Architect has a companion server component that executes a Model o batch on a server using the same workflow file. Batches can be configured to run any number of concurrent tasks, improving utilization of your server. The batch progress is also logged to an internal database. So this has been a very quick overview of the Model o Architect. We've only just touched on some of the more advanced capabilities. If you want to learn more about how the Model o Architect can help your business, then please get in contact, book a demo, or download the free trial to get started.